Hello everyone, I hope that you are having a great time. At this video at LearnTech, I'll show you how you can benchmark your CPU, specifically the CPU of your computer by using Cinebench R23. I'll show you step by step how you can download Cinebench R23 and install it. Then we will benchmark the CPU and check the results and the ranking of the CPU. So let's start right away. We have two ways how we can download Cinebench. One of the ways is to download it through the official website maxon.net or through a Microsoft Store. I'll put the links on the description for both of these ways to download the Cinebench. So we are on Cinebench official portal and we come here download directly from Maxon. Here we have Cinebench release R23 installers. We have two possibilities, one Cinebench R23 offline installer for Windows 10 and the other one is for Mac computers. We are going to download the one with for Windows 10, so we just click on this link here and it will start the download of Cinebench R23. It is around 250 megabytes, it will take a couple of seconds to download it. Now that Cinebench R23 is downloaded, we just double click on it. Here we select Cinebench.exe, the executable file, we double click on it and it will start extracting the files from the WinRAR. Once the extracting is done, it will pop up Cinebench. So now it's loading Cinebench R23. Here we have the license agreement for Maxon Cinebench. I'll just press accept. Here are the data regarding my system. Processor is Intel Core i5 6th generation. Cores, there are two cores. The operating system is Windows 10. And here is the ranking of the CPUs that have been benchmarked through Cinebench. We have the ranking for CPU multi-core or CPU single core. If I want to do the benchmark for CPU multi-core, I press here start. If I want to do the benchmarking for CPU single core, I press here start. We have also another option here, which is advanced benchmark. We click on it and it will show here the minimum test duration. I can select 10 minutes or 30 minutes. I'll just select 10 minutes and I will do CPU single core benchmark and I'll press on start normally so all this process it will take uh, at least like we configured at least 10 minutes performing single core test preparing the project so now it will start the testing normally the CPU it will be really stressed during this time so it's a good idea that you don't do other stuffs just leave the computer do the test and once it's over you can see the results I'm going to fast forward this process and we'll meet at the end when Cinebench will show me the results of my CPU. So now we got the result from Cinebench and my CPU got 433 points. Unfortunately it's ranked the last one here on the list but it's pretty okay I guess because I'm comparing it with pretty good other CPUs. So that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Hopefully you liked this video and please subscribe to my channel. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.